Shetani alikuwa anataka nisikuje kuhudumu kwa sababu tangu jana sijisikii vizuri. But I'm here to serve to Hashem the devil. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ni kwa sababu ukikuwa chini Shetani naye anasema amepata hiyo nafasi. Haleluya. Ah uh, sio rahisi kusimama hapa na kuhudumu especially sisi watu wa chini tukiwa chini ya mafuta sometimes una, unasema sasa amwanda bishop na bishop anajua kila kitu hata am i going to say bwana yesu asifiwe yes because unajikuta unasema i maybe kila ambacho naenda kuongea kila mtu anajua bwana yesu asifiwe and sometimes you lack words hallelujah but god is so faithful that The moment you stand here you cannot lack anything to say. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ah uh, ni kama wakati ule tulikuwa shule. Sometimes tulikuanga na ma discussion groups. Sawa so, while the teacher is away. Wewe ambao unajua kitu kidogo you are a teacher. But the moment unaona mwalimu unarudi chini. Because unajua kila ambacho unafundisha maybe you are making a mistake. Na mwalimu atajua unadanganya wenzako. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So Unataka ukule kona lakini unavumilia tu until he will correct you. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So we are here to correct each other. The more anything you will say, anything that will come out of your mouth. Yes, we have a parent in the house. He will correct us. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So this journey is not so easy. Lakini ni kujipa tungu nguvu. Useme ah kila ambacho nitasema ni Mungu ndiye atakuwa amekileta. Kwa sababu hakuna mtu hata mmoja atakayo nena yaliyo yake. The moment ukikuja hapa na ujasiri ya kuongea kile ambacho wewe uko nacho kama wewe, you will fail. Totally you will fail. That's why most of us sometimes tunasema, "Ai, saa, mimi niko kwa hiyo orodha, what will I say?" Bwana Yesu asifiwe. But the moment hata ukisukumwa sana ufike hapa, you will have a word in your mouth to speak. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hata ukiongea tu kitu chochote tu kicheke tu dakika moja na ukae chini. You have made us proud. Because kuna mtu pengine ya tangu asubuhi alikuwa amesononeka sana. Lakini the moment unamfanya akue happy for just one minute. You have preached the something. Na huyu mtu amepona. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Unajua mtu ukikuwa tu roho yako na mwili yako imekaa tu dull ni kama wewe ni mgonjwa. But the moment you feel happy umepona. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Saa jioni ya leo nataka tushie neno uh, kidogo ambapo uh, the heading says walking with God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Tunaona watu wengi kwa hii Biblia wametembea na Mungu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Watu wengi sana walikuwa na mtii Mungu na wanatembea na Mungu. Wengi, especially the kings. Mimi nashukuru Mungu ni kwa sababu those kings of those days used to fear God. Walikuwa wanatembea na Mungu sana. Walikuwa wanaogopa Mungu na wanaheshimu Mungu na wanatii Mungu. Anything written in the Bible they could follow. Only that they were not so faithful. Hawakuwa wanakamilika sana. Ilikuwa wanafika wakati pia wanalemewa kama watu. But the beginning they were so faithful to God. They could walk with God. Sijui kama wao wamewahi tembea na mwenzako alafu kafika wakati abruptly mtu unaona mlikuwa wawili lakini unajikuta uko peke yako Bwana Yesu asifiwe alafu baadaye tena mnakutana namuuliza kwani kuliendaje you have disappointed me but that is it alipotea na alipotea Bwana Yesu asifiwe so it doesn't matter how alipotea or how amepatikana so those kings used to fear god that they used to walk with god But they reached somewhere ambapo walikuwa wanaachana na Mungu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So I've chosen one of the kings who is Sol- King Solomon who used to walk with God. Lakini alitembea na Mungu kulingana na masharti alikuwa ameambiwa. Kwa sababu baba yake David alikuwa ametembea na Mungu. Na David alipomwa point kumu over a uh, ku take over the throne of the kingship. Kuna maagizo alimpea akamwambia utatembea hivi kulingana na mimi vile nilikuwa nimetembea 
Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Tunapokuwa na watoto wetu nyumbani, kuna vile unaelekeza mtoto wako na mwambia mimi kwa hii nyumba natembeanga hivi na nataka hata wewe utembee hivi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na huyu mtoto anapotembea vile umempea hiyo maagizo, wewe kama mzazi unafurahia. Lakini mtoto anapoacha njia zile ambazo umemwambia atembee, awachane na hizo njia. Huyu mtoto huwa anakudisappoint. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So you feel disappointed with this child. But what can you do? He's your child. So any moment you leave God. Okay, atakuacha, but what can he do? As a God he will give you a punishment, as a parent you will give this son or any any child a punishment. So we shall read from 1 Kings chapter 2. Okay, there are some chapters we shall read and some verses ili tujifunze tuone King Solomon how did he walk with God and how did he live God and what did God do to him Bwana Yesu asifiwe Amen We shall read who has a Kiswahili For me I read yet yungu hapa Second uh, first Kings chapter 2 from verse 1 to verse 4 It says Now the days of uh, David drew near that he should die Bwana Yesu asifiwe Sasa imefika wakati wa Daudi kukufa na hezi kufa tu hivyo lazima awache murithi na ni lazima atamuke kitu ndio amwachia hezi mchukua tu na kumweka sema mimi nimekufa alafu yeye endelea hapana lazima ampe maagizo atafanya nini Bwana Yesu asifiwe Like in Uganda When you go to Buganda Kingdom mtoto akizaliwa to that palace hata akiwa mtoto mdogo baba akufe ataridhi bwana Yesu asifiwe hata akikufa yani kwani akizaliwa tu hivi wanaanza kushangilia wanajua the king is born bwana Yesu asifiwe so hata akizaliwa saa hii na baba akufe saa hii this child is a king but kuna maagizo atafuata hata kama yeye ni king ni mtoto. Huwezi mchukua tu amweke kwa sababu ni king amezaliwa. Hapana. There are some caretakers who will take over until the child will grow and take over na follow some rules. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So here we are seeing King David is about to die. Lakini lazima waachilie kitu kwa mtu ambaye ataridhi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. And he charged Solomon his son saying I go the way of all the earth. Unajua nilipokuwa na read hii, I go I go the way of all the earth. Sometimes it is confusing. Maybe he meant I'm about to die. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Because you cannot just go around the world doing what? And the first verse he saying he was about to die. And he saying I'm about to go around the world. So it means he was about to die. We, kuna watu wengine ake, kama ako karibu kukufa hawezi kuambia nakufa. Kuna vile atakuficha sababu anajua vile uko. Kwa hiyo akikuambia mimi ninga nakufa hata wewe unaweza kufa mbele yake. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So he said, be strong therefore and prove yourself a man and keep the charge of the Lord your God to walk in his ways, to keep his statutes, his commandments, his judgments and his testimonies as it is written in the law of Moses that you may prosper in all that you do Bwana Yesu asifiwe Amen that you may prosper in all that you do and wherever you turn verse 4 that the Lord may fulfill his word which he spoke concerning me saying if your son take heed to their way to walk before me in truth with all their heart and with all their soul He said you shall not lack a, son, a man on the throne of Israel. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So here uh, David is commanding his son if you will walk according to God's ways following all those rules, commandments, judgments. Amemwambia kwamba if you, you you can prove yourself a man. Ina maanisha kitu ya kwanza ujijue who are you. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Wewe tembea na Mungu na ujijui wewe ni nani? Na unaenda wapi? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na kwa sababu kama ujijui, uwezi jua 
unatembea na nani na unaenda wapi kufanya nini so solomon was told by his father first of all you prove yourself a man yani ujijue wewe ni nani unapotembea na Mungu ni lazima ujijue wewe ni nani unaenda wapi kufanya nini and what does god want you to do bwana yesu asifiwe so akamwambia ya kwamba in verse 3 And keep the charges of the Lord of your God to walk in his ways and to keep his statutes his commandments his judgments and his testimonies as it is written in the law of Moses that you may prosper Bwana Yesu asifiwe Kwa hivyo sometimes we just want to prosper but we don't know how Bwana Yesu asifiwe We want just to prosper from nowhere We want to prosper from other ways Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Lakini hapa mu, uh, David anaambia Solomon if only he will walk according to God's ways is only that he will prosper. Inamaanisha the moment atawacha njia za Mungu hata kama prosperity itakuja haitakuwa ya Mungu. And any time you get you prosper not according to God's ways it will vanish within no time. It will disappear. That prosperity will disappear, will vanish, will get away from you because it has not come the way you want it. It is, has not come the way God wants you to be. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So hapa David anamwambia mtoto wake ya kwamba ukitembea according to God's ways, God will, make, will prosper you. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. God will prosper you. And another thing After you have prospered in a, in all that you do and wherever you turn. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Anything that you do, any step that you go, that you move on, you have to involve God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. How many times have we gone without God? Tumeenda njia gapi? Njia gani na tumewaacha Mungu? Tuna yani tunajielekeza tu kama sisi. Bora umepata how Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Unajikuta ya kwamba umeachana na njia za Mungu kwa sababu ya tamaa ya, ya wewe kama mtu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Sisi ni wanadamu. Yes, there are some ways sometimes we fall short of the glory of God. Na sometimes unaona maybe umengoja Mungu mpaka umechoka. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So you decide you turn on to other ways. Yaani ili upate haraka kwa sababu ni ya nini umengoja Mungu umechoka umetembea na yeye mpaka mumechoka yaani wewe umechoka umeona ni kama Mungu anakuchosha so you decide to part ways ili upate haraka Bwana Yesu asifiwe kwa hivyo anything that was written here yes it was about Solomon and his father David But what can we learn as we people of today? Tunaweza soma nini? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kama huyu aliambiwa hivyo, hata wewe sahihi unaambiwa hivyo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Because the word is written, there are some, uh, some somewhere the Bible is written for today. It means anything that you read is for today. It is not for those days. How walikuwa hao? But what about you today? Unajifunza nini? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So sometimes Tunaona ya kwamba ni kama tunaachana na Mungu na tunatembea kama sisi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kwa hivyo tunataka tuone unapotembea na Mungu, what can you get? Unapata nini unapotembea na Mungu? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. If you walk with God, what can you get? Unapata nini? One. You are allowed to ask for anything. Ukitembea na Mungu utaomba chochote kile ambacho unataka. Uweze omba Mungu chochote unataka na hauko na yeye. Hapana. Ni lazima ukitaka kukuomba kitu kwa Mungu, ni lazima uwe umefuatana na yeye. Ndiposa uombe chochote unachotaka. That one is in chapter 3 verse 5. Chapter 3 verse 5. 
it says at Gibeon at Gibeon the Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream by night and God said ask what I shall give you Bwana Yesu asifiwe akamwambia omba chochote inamaanisha unapotembea na Mungu anakupa ruhusa ya kumuomba chochote unachotaka Bwana Yesu asifiwe so inamaanisha ya kwamba ukiachana na Mungu hakuna kitu taomba kwake He will pay a debt here to you. Hata ukiomba hatasikia. Lakini hapa tunaona Solomon anaambiwa na Mungu mwenyewe. Omba chochote unachotaka. Inamaanisha you are allowed to ask for anything before God because he is your friend, you walk with him. Number two, you will be given a long life even after death. You will live a long life. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. How? Let us read Uh, chapter 3 verse 14 Chapter 3 verse 14 It says So if you walk in my ways to keep my statutes and my commandments as your father David walked then I will lengthen your days Bwana God will lengthen your days Ata yani atarefusha siku zako hapa duniani lakini unapoachana na Mungu ni kama unakata siku zako za kuisha hapa duniani. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Inamaanisha ya kwamba ni kama sisi wenyewe tunajitakia tusiishi sana hapa duniani, hapana. Ni kama mwizi akienda kuiba. Aidha akufe mapema ama mwenye ata, atajua vile atajipanga huko. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So God here has said if you walk according to my ways he will lengthen your days here on earth. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Atakuondolea vikwazo zingine, atakuondolea magonjwa, atakuondolea visirani, atakuondolea kila kitu. Kuhakikisha ya kwamba siku zako zinasonga. Na si ati kwa ubaya, Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Siku zako ziwezi songa ukiwa kwa shida, ukiwa na njaa, hapana. Na maanisha amekuondolea hizo vitu ndi at least uendelee kuishi. Najua mtu akiwa na njaa anaomba ate eri angekufa leo kuona kesho eri kuona kesho. Kwa nini? Because you are living but you have no hope for tomorrow. Vanessa Sphere. Lakini unapokaa vizuri inamaanisha hata unatamani kesho pia ifike. We sio mgonjwa, hauna njaa, uko na kila kitu. So God will lengthen your days. And another thing is God accepts your prayer. Vanessa Sphere. Hakuna siku utaachana na Mungu naye asikie maombi yako hapana. Atumemwacha na wewe unatembea peke yako na unamuomba yeye tu hapana. Haiwezekani. God will only accept your prayer if you are on his ways. You are walking according to his commandments. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. The moment you live out any of those things, umeachana na Mungu, usichochoshe na kuomba ni kwa sababu hapo Mungu hayuko pamoja na wewe. And another thing is God establishes you. Mungu anakuestablish. How? Anywhere you go, you will be accepted. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Unapoenda mahali popote, God will establish you. Mungu ataku, atakufanya ukubalike mahali popote unapoenda. Hautaonekana mgeni mahali popote unapotembea. Hakuna hata ukiwa muganda na uko hapa hauna ID, utakubaliwa tu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Yes. Kuna wakati nyanya yangu aliniambia walinimdeport. Alikuwa huko Kitale, akadipotiwa. Yana badala wampelekea hapo hawa wakampeleka ya swami. Akajikuta huko huko. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So you can be deported if you are not with God. But you can live here in Kenya, you don't have anything like any papers that talks about you but you are here with God's favor. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Unafanya biashara unafanya nini? Hallelujah. Amen. So God can establish you anywhere so long as you are with him. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So you cannot have no fear. So that one is found in chapter 9 verse 5. Yes, that same book chapter 9 verse verse 5. It says, "Then I will establish the throne of your kingdom over Israel forever." Bwana Yesu asifiwe. It is only when you walk with God he will establish you 
forever inamaanisha kile kiti cha, cha David anapo huyo mtoto uh, Solomon anapoingia hapo inamaanisha akitembea na Mungu ata, atakaa hata kupita siku za baba yake vile alikuwa king so it means God said he will establish him on that throne forever only with only one condition if he will follow God's ways and if only he will walk according to his father uh, king david he said as i promised david your father saying you shall not fail to have a man on the throne of israel banesas fear so ina maanisha ya kwamba god will establish you according to his promises unaweza kaa hivi utamani uende ukae mahali fulani lakini unakaa na uoga unasikia hai mahali fulani ni wachawi mahali fulani ni kuko nini but if you are with god you will not fear anything you will go and stay hey, unaweza tamani uende uhubiri injili mahali na unasikia hai huko kuna pingamizi mingi because you are don't you don't have god you will fear but because you have god you will go and preach and you will bring deliverance to so many people Vanessa sphere. Amen. So God can establish you anywhere you can you want to go and whatever you want to do. Vanessa sphere. Amen. Especially hii kazi ya uinjilisti iko na pingamizi mingi sana. Unaweza tamani uende mahali na wanakuambia huko hakuendeki. Nothing you can preach. Njili itakwama, kila kitu kitagwama. Lakini because you have God and you have God this power, you can go and you can anything any breakthrough can happen and God can use you in any way anywhere hallelujah Amen. so if you keep God's commandments his statutes you walk according to his words you walk according to his ways he will make you a somebody somewhere Vanessa's fear Amen. but what if you cannot walk with God what can happen Vanessa's fear Amen. Ni nini kitafanyika unapomwacha na unapoachana na Mungu? Ni nini ta happen kwako? Nini kita happen kwako? Kwa sababu tunaona Solomon alitembea na Mungu. Lakini kwa sababu yeye ni mtu alifika wakati akaachana na Mungu. Na si ati alienda tu hivyo akaachana na Mungu Mungu akaendelea kufurahia hapana. Mungu alimfurahia wakati alikuwa na yeye. Lakini wakati alifika wakati akaachana na Mungu vitu ikabadilika Vanessa sphere walio anasemanga vitu vijenjanga yes eh? it is like that so even solomon things changed when he when he turned away from god he made god angry Vanessa sphere so we want to look at the effects of not walking with god what can happen hallelujah God cuts off your lineage or your family when you are free. God will cut off whatever you have. Or God can reject you. So that one we can find it in chapter 9 verse 7. Chapter 9 verse 7. Because here David has started living God Vanessa's fear. But let us first of all read chapter 11. Chapter 11. Because here in chapter 9 God is telling him if he will not. Now, let us read chapter 9, sorry, chapter 11 from verse 1. Here we are seeing David has started living God. Sorry Solomon has started living God. Verse 1 from verse 1 it says, but King Solomon loved many foreign women as well as the daughter of Pharaoh. Women of the Moabites, Ammonites, Edomites, Sidonians and Hittites, from the nation of whom the Lord had said to the children of Israel you shall not intermarry with them banesha sphere so tunaona david sasa ameanza kuenda njia zake tu banesha sphere you shall not intermarry with them nor they will you they will with you 
surely they will turn away your hearts after their gods. So there are some ways that you can go, some things that you can do, they can turn your heart from God. So hapa Solomon ameanza kuenda njia zake ambao Mungu alikataza wana wa Israeli sasa ya amejikuta ameingia huko. Na ameanza kuharas Mungu. So we shall uh, go over to we shall go over to verse 4. For it was so when Solomon was old that his wives turned his heart after other gods and his heart was not loyal to the Lord his God as was the heart of his father David. For Solomon went after uh, Ashtoreth the god, goddess of Estonians and the and Milkon the abomination of Ammonites. Solomon did evil in the sight of the Lord. Verse 6. Vanessa's fear. Amen. Solomon has turned his heart away from God. Why? Because he engaged in those uh, in the things which God had commanded them not to do. Mungu alikuwa amewakataza wasinitamare. Sasa Solomon ameanza kufanya. Lakini hapa Mungu alikuwa amempea onyo. The moment you will turn away from me, mimi na nitakuacha. I will cut off your lineage. That's why in chapter 9 I said in chapter 9 verse 7 God said Then I will cut off the Israel from the land which I have given them and this house which I have consecrated for my name I'll cast out of my sight. Vanessa Sphere. Mungu alikuwa ameshamuonya lakini hapo mbele sasa ameanza kujiingiza pa mahali penye apavai. So the effects of not working with God is that God will cut off your lineage. Yan God will cut off your family. The moment you leave God, God will not remember you anymore. Mungu atakusahau pamoja na familia yako, pamoja na uzao yako yote. Ni kwa sababu wewe ndiyo tafanya Mungu awasahau na awachane na nyinyi. Na maanisha vizazi ambao vitakuja huko mbele havitajua Mungu ni kwa sababu ya wewe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So God will have cut off everything that the next generation will not will not know God because it was you who has done this so God will punish the rest of the generation Vanessa fear and because God has said he will even reject the house he has consecrated for his name Solomon alikuwa amejenga nyumba ya Mungu lakini Mungu akamwambia utakaponiwacha hata ile nyumba ambayo umetengeneza Vanessa Sphere. Inamaanisha hata kanisa kama hili tukiachana na Mungu, Mungu anaachana na kanisa letu. Na kanisa silo jengo ni sisi. Vanessa Sphere. Tumelijenga, tunakuja kuabudu hapa lakini hatuko pamoja na yeye. Inamaanisha atatureject hata sisi. Vanessa Sphere. So God will reject his house which he has consecrated for his own name. Vanessa Sphere. Jenga kanisa limejengwa limeitanishwa na jina la Mungu lakini kwa sababu sisi tumeachana na njia zake tumeenda njia zetu Mungu amekataa kanisa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Badala ya kuomba ni kama tunampigia kelele. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Everything that you pray you, you cannot prosper. You can get and uh, we, we do not get any breakthrough. Why? Because we have left God and he has also decided to leave us. Hallelujah. Amen. So another thing is God told Solomon that if you leave me you will be objected to your enemies. Enemies will come. There are so many enemies. It is not a must that an enemy will come to attack you. So many enemies. There are diseases there. There is hunger there. Eh? Now we are in an economic crisis. Why? Because we have left God. During this time here we are we are in the economic crisis but we have not known why we are in this situation it is because we have rejected god banesa sphere tunapoitwa kwa madhabahu ya mungu tunaona ni kama it is just we are wasting our time so the moment god will leave us the enemy of economic crisis will come and here we are it is now high time that we go back to god banesa sphere Tusipo kuundua ya kwamba we are in this situation because maybe kuna njia fulani ambayo tumeachana na Mungu tumeanza kujiongoza kama sisi we cannot make it 
Vanessa's fear. Yeah. But the moment we shall discover that we have done this, we have wronged God, God is angry with us. Natumulilie. Hallelujah. Niposa atatukumbuka. Lakini tunapo endelea tu hivo. E, tutasidi tu kulia maisha ni ngumu. Lakini we have not known what we should do. Vanessa fear. We must have a solution. Any problem that comes, it has a solution. Hakuna shida inaweza ingia na ikose solution. Hakuna. Vanessa fear. But most of the time tunapochukulia vitu zingine kuwa ni kama Mungu anasababisha. Uh, most of the time watu ambao wameokoka wakiosema hii kitu inaonekana ni kama tumeachana na Mungu. Unaonekana ni kama unaongea upuzi. Naonekana ni kama what you are talking is just like childish. Vanessa fear. Ila ni unaonekana kama kila ambacho unaongea wao hujui. Vanessa fear. Because they will see that they are they are fixing things somewhere. Lakini wao naona ya kwamba hapana hapa Mungu anafaa ingilie. Lakini kile ambacho wewe unaelekeza aa unaonekana kana kwamba you are talking rubbish. Vanessa fear. Ni kama kila ambacho unaongea hakisaidia hata kidogo. Najua most of the time tunaona ni kama Mungu afanye kitu. Watu wengi wanasema kupika tu mdomo watu unaongea na Mungu haisaidii. You must do something. But there is power in prayer. There is power in walking with God. There is power in doing what God wants you to do. The moment you live just like that, God will also leave you. Mungu naye atakuacha. Na ni shida kubwa sana na ni hatari Mungu kutuacha. Vanessa fear. Ni kwa sababu hata Solomon ilifika wakati Mungu akamwambia kwamba I will cut off the kingdom and give it to your enemies. Give it to some people. Only that God said I will not cut the whole of the kingdom because of your father David. Vanessa fear. Hapa sisi sasa tunaweza angalia ni nini inaweza tufanya Mungu atukumbuke, atuondoe kwa macho zingine yenye tunalianga. Kuna macho zingine tunalianga ni kama ya ovyo ovyo tu. Tunalia tu, lakini hatujui chanzo ni nini. Vanessa fear. Lakini tukijua chanzo, tutajua the solution. Vanessa fear. Kwa hivyo hapa Solomon sometimes alikuwa spared kwa sababu ya baba yake. Kwa sababu baba yake alikuwa holy devoted to God. Na ndipo sasa Mungu akaambia Solomon ya kwamba kuna vitu zingine sitafanya, sitakuadhibu ni kwa sababu ya baba yako. Sasa sisi kama Kenya tutafanya nini? Tutakumbuka nani mtu yoyote kama mtumishi wa Mungu tuseme kama tunaweza tembea tufuate njia za mtumishi fulani, pengine Mungu atatukumbuka. Bwana sifiwe. Ni kwa sababu sasa hivi unajikuta hata kiongozi hata kama kiongozi wa dini, kiongozi wa kanisa, kiongozi wa nini hana mwelekeo, ha, hakuna vile anaweza elekeza watu waende. Hakuna Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na unaweza jikuta wewe kama mudoko, unaweza kuwa na wazo ambao linaweza saidia hata mkubwa lakini aone hapana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So sometimes tunajikuta ya kwamba tuko tu hapo, hakuna mwenye anasikiza wazo la mwingine na tunaumia. Lakini hapa Solomon naye alipoanza kuachana na Mungu alienda hivyo paka akaenda hivyo paka ikaisha hivyo. Lakini mimi naomba hivi. Tusiende hizo njia za Solomon. Tusione ya kwamba kuna, kuna wakati tunafaa tutembee na Mungu na kuna wakati tunafaa tumuache. Hapana. Kwa sababu tukiona hivyo tutamaliza vibaya. Tutamaliza vibaya. Na if it is time it is now. If it is time to go back to God, it is now. Vanessa fear. Yes, as Kenyans, there are so many things which are ahead of us, which need prayer from the out of God. If it is time, it is now. We shall not wait until tomorrow. We shall not wait until things get out of hand before we can go back to God. No, unajua sometimes tunangoja paka vitu mambo yaribike ndio tumkumbuke Mungu. Hapana. Lakini the earlier we go back to God, the earlier he will save us from the enmities, from the calamities that is ahead of us. Vanessa fear. Kwa hivyo jioni ya leo hilo ndio neno la leo na naomba mubarikiwe. Amen.